Bauchi State Speaker blast Mwiki for threatening PDP governors. Exactly. And he gave example with uh, Bauchi State uh, Governor. That is that is the height of it. And saying that he will blast, he will, he will put fire in their state. And they, I'm sure the people in Bauchi are waiting for him. And all the other PDP states are waiting for him. Let him come and repeat what he's doing in River State and see whether he will get out with it. The Speaker of the Bauchi State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Suleiman Abubakar, has expressed deep concern over statements credited to the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Mr. Nisou Mwike, threatening to incite political crisis in states where their governors were allegedly interfering in River State uh, political crisis. So Right Honorable Abubakar, who is the immediate past chairman of the Conference of Nigerian Speakers Forum, in a statement made available to journalists, described Mwike's remarks as reckless and unbecoming of a leader, emphasizing that such rhetoric and endanger not only the unity of the People's Democratic Party, People Democratic Party, but also the stability of the entire nation. He also called on the PDP leadership and the national security agencies to take immediate action to address Mwike's excesses. Of course. The PDP was founded on the principles of democracy, mutual respect, and the rule of law. It is not the personal fiefdom of any individual, regardless of their past accomplishments or current position. Mr. Nwike's attempt to use his influence as a tool of intimidating um, against other states within the Federation is a gross misuse of power and a direct violation of the values upon which your party, our party was formed, that is the PDP. So as a speaker of the Bauchi State House of Assembly, I cannot remain silent in the face of such threats. Mr. Nwike's audacious warning that Bauchi State could face political turmoil simply because we stand for what is right is unacceptable. Moreover, Mr. Nwike's, con Nwike's continued public outburst do a disservice to the PDP and betray the trust that the people of River State and the Broadens uh, Nigerian populace, okay, Broadens Nigerian populace have placed on him. It is the responsibility of the National Security Advisor and the media to ensure that individuals who make such inflammatory statements are held accountable. We cannot allow a situation where one man's ego and test for power jeopardize the peace and the unity of our nation, he stated. Mm. So he added that Bauchi State, like any other state, will not be intimidated with wicked threats of political turmoil while reaffirming the state's commitment to upholding justice, peace, and rule of law, even as he insisted that any attempt to disrupt the peace of Bauchi State will be met with the full force of the law. <laughs> I am telling you, they will, they will deal with the guy if he messes with Bauchi State. And that is it. And I'm sure all other states, 13 states, PDP states are 13 states. They are waiting for him to come and unleash that terror the, that is unleashing on River State and let, let's see how it will work. Sometimes we can talk like somebody who is under influence. That is how bad it is. And uh, since he was able to reveal to everybody when he was the governor of River State and the later part of his governorship of uh, rule, he showed uh, a 40 years old whiskey that he used to take. So he wakes up morning on a goguru and then he'll sleep at night on a goguru. Then, and he's behaving like somebody who is under a goguru's influence all the time. That is what we see there. Because irrespective of his successes as a politician, he's not supposed to talk anyhow the way he's talking as a, uh, a notable political figure and a leader. That is it. So now that, um, you know, everybody's reacting, the former PDP legal advisor, Jacob Mark, has reacted and everybody's reacted. Now, uh, Bauchi State government has reacted through the Speaker of the Bauchi State House of Assembly to warn him that any attempt to unleash terror on uh, Bauchi State will be highly resisted. That is it. With any available resource, will be highly resisted. So, Nwike should know that the North are not smiling with him and nobody is smiling with him. So if he thinks 
that he is Alpha and Omega. He is only Alpha and Omega in River State, not in other states. And I'm waiting for him actually. Let him come and repeat what he did in River State in other states and see what will be the outcome. Whether he will be able to explain what the experience he will get out of it. All right, and people, uh, but two people have reacted to the response that came from the Bauchi State uh, Speaker of the House of Assembly. So I say, keep talking. The microphone is still very loud. <laughs> Can you imagine? What do you mean? Eh? So are you saying he should not say it? I uh, to say PDP is gone forever. The party that values only money without any integrity, and that is really what Mweke is using against the party. Okay, uh, almost all the politicians in that party are uh, after their stomach and after what they get. And Mweke has actually taken enough from the River State uh, uh, Treasury and using that to solidify his uh, political base. And that's exactly uh, why these people, they, in fact, the whole PDP leadership cannot hold Mweke because Mweke has contributed to their political career directly or indirectly using the River State funds. Hmm. And that is almost like a buyover. I'm surprised that Fubara refused to be completely bought over. That means it's made of a special species because uh, ordinarily, with uh, what uh, Nguike did for Fubara to come to power, Fubara will remain uh, loyal to, I mean, for life. You know, um, again, that loyalty is what uh, Nguike is not seeing for Fubara, and that is why he's fighting him like this. So, for um, Okay, so for Mwike to threaten states, PDP states, that he's going to unleash terror, he's going to, you know, uh, put fire in their state, is, uh, is a no-no, and that is what River State Assembly is, sorry, um, Pauchi State Assembly Speaker is coming out now to condemn it and to tell him that, you know, he doesn't have that power, and also advising a national security advisor and other security agencies to swing into action and investigate uh, Nguike and the statement he has made. Hmm. Unfortunately, who is going to come out now and handle Nguike because the BOT is weak, the National Open Committee is weak, the National Executive Council is weak, the Governor's Forum is weak. So who is going to now tame and curtail Nguike's uh, excesses if all of the uh, organs um, of PDP at national level that should bring Every situation under control is weak and can't act. It will be very, very bad, terribly, very bad. So now the the speaker of a Bauchi State House of Assembly has said they are waiting. Has said they are waiting, um, and the one week that you know, let him do well to come and implement his plan in the Bauchi State, and he will see the highest uh, resistance ever. Again. The Bauchi state government is also um, calling on federal government to curtail Mwike's excesses. The National Security Advisor to curtail Mwike's excesses. And so, unfortunately, the, the Security Advisor, who is uh, Nuhu Ribadu, is almost behaving like, uh, uh, how do I put it, a partisan person. He's more partisan because he is tilting towards listening to APC that appointed him in the, into that role. So, and that is not good enough. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comment, even as uh, yeah, even as Bauchi state government is calling out Mickey and warning him of his threats. <laughs>